In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for the gold here in KAUCN2. This is potassium dicyanoaurate. So to do this, there's no negative or positive sign after this formula here. That means it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. We also know potassium here, that's in group one on the periodic table, that'll have a plus one oxidation number. We don't know the gold, that's a transition metal. And then we get to the C and the N. This is a little bit confusing. We don't have a rule for this here. What we need to recognize is that CN, that's the cyanide ion, and the whole ion has a one minus ionic charge. When we have ions, the oxidation numbers, they're gonna add up to the charge on the ion. So this whole thing will add up to an oxidation number of minus one. Since we know everything is gonna add up to zero, we can just set an equation up. We could say one plus X for the gold, we don't know that, plus two times minus one, that's minus two, that equals zero. So X minus one equals zero, add one to both sides, X equals a positive one. So the oxidation number for the AU in KAUCN2, that's plus one. If we add these all up, we have two times the minus one, that's minus two, plus one, plus one, that gives us zero. If you need to find the oxidation number for the carbon and the nitrogen, there's a link in the description how to do that. This is a little bit tricky because of carbon and nitrogen here, and we need to look at the electronegativity of each element. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for the gold in potassium dicyanoaurate. Thanks for watching.